Hi everyone! So today I am filming my wax melt empties for the month of August. I'm just filming this back to back with my Teddy Bees haul, so same outfit. Minnie's still in the background here. So let's just get started. Um, the first things I am going to do are the... Yeah, let's just do the wax first. So um, I randomly did this pumpkin spice scent from Target one day. And I did this on, I want to say August. It was mid-August. Um, because I remember it was the first day I had gotten a pumpkin spice latte, which we actually kind of got early because we're kind of regulars at a Starbucks location and she kind of let me get it early, which was really nice of her. Um, so I decided to celebrate the day. I was like, let me get this pumpkin spice scent from Target as well when we were there. And I warmed it in my house that day. I really liked it. I actually loved it <laughs> because I wrote, I loved it on here. I don't know if it's because I was just in the mood for something fall um, after doing so much like spring summer kind of sense that it was just a different change kind of. Um, I thought like on cold it definitely smells kind of spicy but on warm I actually kind of thought it smelled a little bakery like but my husband definitely thought it was spicy. I don't know if he loved it but I really liked it and again maybe it's because it was like kind of my first fall scent of the season that made me really love it but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot when I warmed it. Let's do some of my candles from the keeping room that's right here. The first one is Cactus and Sea Salt. This one was really, really pretty. Um, basically just like a fresh kind of clean, I can even smell it. It borderline even smells like it would be a good like laundry kind of a scent. Um, a little bit like aquatic-y. Just really pretty and I get very good performance in general from candles from the keeping room so I liked this one a lot. This would be a great one for like if guests came over because it just makes your house smell fresh and clean. Um, really enjoyed that one. Blueberry corn muffins. This was really good too. I don't always like corn muffins, cornbread scents. Um, I think I would prefer a zucchini bread blend but I liked it. Candles from the Keeping Room's Blueberry Bakery scents all smell pretty similar to me though. So I've had like blueberry white cake, blueberry corn muffins, blueberry biscuits kind of, you know, those kind of scents. They all smell really similar. So if you like her blueberry, you can't really go wrong with any blueberry blend from Carol. Um, it's definitely a nice like bright sweet blueberry scent so I really like it I like her blueberries so um like I said if you go down the list of any of the blueberry scents I think you would probably enjoy them and they all smell like I said pretty similar and the this one is lemon summer cake that I finished up this was really nice I'm not too picky with like lemons they're nice to have for like spring summer on occasion but it's not like a go-to fruity bakery to me um they all in general like if I'm in a mood for a lemon bakery any lemon bakery will really do so I mean I enjoyed it while I warmed it nothing like outstanding but it was just a good solid sweet lemon bakery um this is just a random like single you know vendor thing that I warmed this is super tart strawberry gain and this is a bam a full bam bag um, I haven't ordered in super tarts in a super long time. Um, so I got this definitely like probably at least a year ago. Um, strawberry and Gain Laundry. I really liked this. I think I had it in maybe a, a half BAM bag and then I had gotten the full BAM, I believe. Um, very strong, very long lasting. It's an interesting, unique laundry that I haven't really smelled from other vendors, but I really liked it. I would definitely say their gain laundry was overpowering in this one, but their strawberry is different from other vendors' strawberries. Like, I notice it if it's like a strawberry bakery scent, but this one I didn't notice it at all. It's more to me of like a strawberry jam kind of a scent, but the gain was so strong and overpowering, I pretty much just noticed the gain laundry. But again, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, moving on to some other scents. I got a comp, I melted through a couple from Swanky. This is Fairy Dust. This was definitely from one of my grab bags I've gotten at some point. I don't really know the scent notes, 
but I think when I warmed it, it was definitely fruity and maybe like a melon fruity because I almost felt like I was smelling like that kind of melony. I don't know if it was watermelon or maybe like a honeydew melon, um, but it was definitely kind of a fruity leaning scent. I didn't care for it. Like it was nothing unique or outstanding on cold, but I actually really ended up enjoying it on warm. So I'd maybe consider looking for this, or at least I'd be intrigued to know what the scent notes are. And then this is a bakery bag in Kissing Booth, which I wrote the scent notes on here because they weren't on the label. So it's pink chiffon, strawberry, and pink sugar. Um, this is a really pretty scent. Definitely more like a body care leaning, like a sweet kind of young feminine body care scent. You know, I really liked it. It was pretty. I like these kind of scents every once in a while. Um, so yeah, definitely enjoyed that. Some Teddy Bees, Pink Signature Sugar Cookies. Very pretty, love this one. I love Teddy Bees Pink Sugar Bakery. This was definitely pink sugar heavy and then bakery in the background. Really enjoyed this, probably like a, a medium throw, pretty long lasting. Patisserie. Um, I remember saying this on my first impressions when I hauled this and I remember seeing comments that agreed with me. Um, although there's no chocolate in the scent notes, this smells like a chocolate scent to me. It actually reminded me of a lighter kind of Tootsie Roll scent. Um, and that's how I felt like it smelled on warm as well. So I don't know. I, I don't know what would cause that like chocolatey scent because the scent notes just say warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and touch of spice. But I just felt like it was kind of a chocolatey scent. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I don't dislike chocolate wax it's not something i necessarily gravitate towards but um but yeah if you don't like chocolate and wax i would not get the patisserie cookie monster um this is like an extra bakery cupcakes at tiffany blend and i would say the cupcakes at tiffany definitely comes alive on warm i actually really really liked it um i don't know if i particularly noticed the other bakery notes but definitely cupcakes at tiffany's it was pretty strong for Teddy B's, but it wasn't super long lasting, but I liked it. I would consider getting it again. Now we have a handful of Rose Girl scents. This first one is Mario Party. I loved this. This was so good. And I actually, do I have it finished? I don't think so. When I was warming this, I mixed it with zucchini bread. I had a mini melter bag of just plain zucchini bread. Um, that blend was really, really good. I will say basically all I smelled in here was Fruit Loops. Maybe Fruit Loops a little bit toned down because of the other bakery notes, but Fruit Loops is the predominant note in this one. And then, like I said, I blended it with zucchini bread, which I thought was a really pretty blend. Um, definitely liked that. Alice in Slumberland. This was so pretty. I would definitely look to repurchase this in the future. I feel like the lavender blended with the melon, just so pretty and calming. I loved it a lot and I love, love, love Rose Girls' Sweet Lavender. I definitely feel like it's a little bit more herbal leaning and then usually like when it's blended with bakery or in this case honeydew and cotton candy frosting, like it is kind of a sweet scent, like blend, but I can just tell the lavender is kind of herbal leaning, which is my preference. I love Rose Girls' Lavender. Um, Carbs Noel, this is really, really good. I, I can do Carbs Noel. Carbs on its own is definitely a little, I think a little too bread heavy for me. I would definitely need to blend it. This one's pretty and I would consider getting it again. It's still pretty bread heavy. If I had to like guesstimate, I feel like my nose picks up like 70% bread, maybe like 30% sweet. Um, Again, it's it's kind of that borderline too bready. You really have to like that fresh baked bread scent because although it's mixed with cookies, donuts, it to me, it's only the bread of the carbs note. But then you got some of the sweetness from Vanilla Bean Noel as well. Um, pumpkin Pecan Waffles Birthday Cake. This is such a good scent. She just had a um, pre-order and she had this in there. I almost ordered, but I just ended up passing i mean i kind of forgot about it and i was like oh well but i would borderline once she ships out the pre-order and has pre-order overstock i may look to make a small order and pick up more of this because it's so good i feel like in general birthday cake from vendor wax 
almost always doesn't smell like anything to me. If anything, it kind of tones down a blend. But Rose Girls has a good birthday cake because um, I feel like it just was a decadent bakery pumpkin pecan waffles. I just really love it. I highly recommend this scent. It's so good. Dr. Mario. I think these next couple... No, wait. I'm just trying to separate the... Okay, I, yeah, these next couple are going to be Mario Melters, which I should have maybe done with that Mario Party one, but oh well. Um, this is Dr. Mario. I remember at first when I got this, which these are older, because this is when she did the Mario Melter, the two layered, thicker melters. Um, so I want to say this is from 2021. Um... When I first got it in, I liked it. I was a little scared that it was going to smell too, like, medicinal. Um, but I liked it on cold when I got it in. It's been sitting in my collection, curing for year. Like, a year, year and a half, two years at this point. When I warmed it, it definitely did lean medicinal to me. I don't know if it was, like, that eucalyptus camphor kind of blend in the mint, but... I don't know. I didn't like it as much because it did smell kind of, I don't know. I don't think it was exactly icy hot, but it just smelled kind of like herbal medicinal leaning. So I don't, I don't think I'd get that one again. I mean, I enjoyed it enough. It was a good performer. It just wasn't my preference. I don't think. Bowser's birthday bash, confetti cake, cream cheese frosting. I don't know why I'm reading these notes, but I'll just keep going. Strawberry pound cake, strawberry vanilla milkshake. Again, this is on the older side. Yes, it's from December 2021. Because this is on the older side, I don't know if... Um, I've, heard, I've heard this a little bit earlier on when I started warming. I heard people say that Rose Girls' bakery doesn't always last a super long time in your collection um it smells so good on cold but i don't know like i said because this is a bit on the older side i didn't notice it as much on warm i have more of this in my collection actually i just got a bag of it i believe from summer um from our from the random act of kindness she sent me so i'm definitely curious to try it again a bit of a newer bag to see if this was more Le to see if it was less strong because it was on the older side because I feel like I'd love this blend I just on warm for some reason didn't really notice it Boo's Spooky Castle again this is a tried and true but because this is on the older side again I didn't notice it as much I smelled it but it wasn't the strongest and I've warmed this before and really really loved it so I don't know if it Maybe it was my nose that day. I could have been going nose blind to some of these. That could very well be because this is a tried and true and I, I've warmed it and loved it in the past. So I'm I'm going to just assume it's because it's a little bit on the older side. Sugar cookie dough, cream cheese frosting, waffle cone, monster cookie, royal sugar cookie. This is one of those blends, nothing special on cold. So good on warm. I highly recommend it if I ever see this again in a rts or pre-order i would look to repurchase this it's so so good it definitely comes alive on warm decadent delicious yummy like lick the air good would definitely repurchase and then the last rose girls is mermaid hair this was really pretty and long lasting i think i did it yeah i did this on a day that i ended up going into the office so i changed all my warmers in the morning came back you know eight nine hours later and i still smelled it it smelled really nice pretty lingered i enjoy it but i don't know if it's anything like too special but it is really pretty and definitely long lasting we have some sassy girl aroma this first one is pink aqua crystal so this is her pink sugar dupe it is a nice pink sugar dupe but for some reason sassy girl aroma's pink sugar isn't as strong as some vendors pretty but just not super noticeable or strong so then this one's everything but her kitchen sink which is pink sugar plus tons of bakery so again very pretty i would actually say it's more bakery leaning than the pink sugar but again i didn't feel like it was super strong on warm i didn't notice it a whole lot so um i don't know i'm not sure i just think her pink sugar is a little bit um on the gentler side 
which is interesting because a lot of vendors pink sugar tends to kind of like take over blends <clears throat> and that's kind of usually what I end up smelling but yeah just a little gentler um this is two can Sam this one was definitely fruit loop heavy and more of like a sharp lemony I don't even know maybe tart um, I don't know if I love Sassy Girl Aromas Fruit Loops because I had another Fruit Loop blend, I think. And again, I kind of picked up that same like Fruit Loops heavy, but just more kind of just lemony. Um, to me, I probably wouldn't repurchase her Fruit Loops blends. I mean, maybe I would, but it's just, it's not like a favorite Fruit Loops, I don't think. Like I said, just a bit too strong on that like lemony side um this is blueberry pie this is a nice blueberry bakery um enjoyed it but like nothing too like outstanding or unique or anything but a solid blueberry bakery this one is batters up this is pretty strong um i was actually kind of surprised based off the scent the scent notes um definitely coconut you definitely smell that coconut note um, plus the bakery notes, but I would say coconut's probably the strong note out of the rest of them. So if you like a coconut scent, I would consider trying out some coconut blends from Sassy Girl Aroma. Um, I did like it. I don't know if coconut is, you know, an absolute favorite for me. So like I enjoyed it, but I don't know if I crave it super frequently. And then this last one is Pink Key Lime Pie. Sassy Girl Aroma has a really good key lime pie. It's super like sweet key lime, not like tart lime. Really, really pretty. That's mainly all I smelled in this one. The key lime is definitely the strong note in this one. But again, like I said, her pink sugar tends to be to me on the gentler side. So um, mainly, mainly the key lime, but it was really pretty. A great summer fragrance. And then these next ones are going to be L3. So I have a couple bougie bars. We have strawberry sugar cookie, which I enjoyed. You can't really go wrong with this. A nice strawberry bakery. Nothing too much else to say. Um, these are all like strawberry um, bougie bars. This is sweet 16 sugared, stra sugared shortbread and strawberry jam. Again, enjoyed it nothing too much else to say it was a good strawberry bakery blend and this is summer scoops sugar cookie royale i love love l3 sugar cookie royale so this was amazing super strong sugar cookie royale then that note kind of dies down and then you definitely get the sugar the summer scoops so this one out of the three bougie bars was probably my favorite and the one i like remember most in my mind melting salty siren just a really good summertime scent. It's like fresh, clean, aquatic-y. This is another one I feel like would be good for if you had like guests over. I feel like it just makes your house smell like fresh kind of. Lemon pound cake sugar cookie royale. Definitely bakery forward and a nice sweet lemon. I liked that. I like when the lemon is a sweet lemon, not like a tart lemon or a cleaner lemon. Sugar corn pudding zucchini bread sugar cookie royale. This is one of those blends that it's just a staple blend. Um, zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale, just a staple. Amazing scent. And then sugar corn pudding is good too. But definitely um, anything mixed with zucchini bread and sugar cookie royale from L3 like is a must have. Strong, decadent, one of those kind of like lick the air good scents. Dream Weaver. Um, I really like this one. This is a more like herbal leaning lavender with like creamy notes in there um I really like it I I could see some people not liking it if you don't like if you don't like um not milky but it just the creamy notes were pretty strong in this so I could see that like maybe off-putting for some people but I really enjoyed that one I would even consider maybe mixing a little bit more of a bakery component, like maybe sugar cookie royale. Just because the lavender cream is what's strong in this one, sugar cookie dough bread, I don't really notice. Pink clouds at sunset, very beautiful, um, strong throw, pretty long lasting. 
um, pretty kind of girly scent because of that Boardwalk Molo Clouds Pink Sugar Sweet on Paris. I mean, definitely kind of a body care leaning scent. This is Wardrobe Clean Cotton Towels and Pink Sugar. Again, just a really pretty body care, girly kind of a scent and pretty long lasting. L3's got a good pink sugar. Another pink sugar blend, pink sugar, strawberry sugar, cotton candy, mallow fluff. Again, on the same lines of those other ones, just pretty body hair, girly, tried and true love. This is out, out of any vendor. Yeah, I would say this is my number one scent from any vendor. Strawberry zucchini bread from L3. She's poured it a couple times recently, um, and I've picked up a lot because I love it. And I haven't, I didn't see it for a while there, but then she's so good with requests. Um, she poured it in bougie bars. Bougie bars are one of my favorite from L3 because they're so easy. You just break them apart, put a chunk in the warmer, you're good to go. So I requested it and I got a lot of those bougie bars when she poured them. Cupcakes at Tiffany's Vanilla Bean Noel. Oddly enough, this one was Vanilla Bean Noel heavy. I feel like usually that's a background blender. You don't always smell it um, in blends, but surprisingly enough, that's what I smelled the most. I didn't even, I don't think I even really picked up the cupcakes at Tiffany's, at least not on cold. On warm, again, like still really Vanilla Bean Noel heavy, and it was it was pretty strong, which I'm just surprised about because I just feel like in general it's usually not as strong. I love it from Bath & Body Works in body care. Vanilla Bean Noel and like the candle, I don't smell at all. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleasantly surprised with this. I think I would, if I saw this again, I would look to get it or at least something Vanilla Bean Noel from L3. Lemon Poppy Seed Muffin Brown Sugar. A really pretty sweet lemon bakery. This one was a pretty good throw. Mrs. Doubtfire. Oddly enough, this one I didn't smell as much. This is again a nice lemon, you know, sweet lemon bakery, but this one definitely wasn't as strong as this one. Blueberry Cobbler Zucchini Bread White Elephant Exchange. This was actually really zucchini bread heavy. I didn't smell really the White Elephant Exchange bakery vanilla notes at all. I'd say it was like 60% zucchini bread, 40% blueberry. Um, like I said, pretty zucchini bread heavy. I, I just remember doing this one more recently and thinking like, wow, I am really getting the zucchini bread, which I'm not mad at because I like zucchini bread, but I was just like surprised because of, there's other bakery notes in there. And then the last one was a loaf I finished up in Sweet Dreams, cotton candy frosting, no, cotton candy frosting, sweet lavender jet puff marshmallows. I enjoyed this, but it wasn't the strongest. I liked it. Um, the sweet lavender to me, yes, it was, it's kind of that like herbal leaning lavender, even though it says sweet lavender. Um, but yeah, for some reason, this was a bit on the lighter side. I don't know. It's probably on the older side as well. So maybe that's why, but didn't notice it a whole lot when I was warming. Okay. We went through all my um, wax. So now we'll just go through kind of the rest of the random items. Okay. I just threw this in here. I don't know why. I just feel it because I'm like, oh, it's an empty and I rarely go through like pens, but I finished up this um, Sharpie S gel pen. Um, this is just kind of a work pen. I typically don't like this thick of a pen. It's like a 1.0 in my planner. I prefer like a kind of like really fine tip pen, but um, because it's such a thick point, I feel like it does go through the ink a little bit quicker. Again, really random, but um, two scent circles. This one was Graham Cracker Crunch. This was in our car way longer than it should have been um, to the point where like, yeah, I don't even really smell it. I remember it's it was super strong on um, when we initially put it in the car for like two days and then I didn't really smell it. I can't even remember how long this has been in the car. Months, like probably months. I didn't even like... To the point where I just totally forgot it was like hanging from our mirror. And then this one is Rainbow Sher Sherbet. Um, this I actually put in our closet hanging on our vacuum. Um, I literally don't smell this at all either. I remember putting this like right when we moved in I think so this is probably like eight months it was on our vacuum just dangling there. I did smell it for a while. It's not really like a scent I 
lean towards loving so I just kind of put it on the vacuum but this one I remember smelling for a little bit in the closet I just I just didn't like love the scent or anything but um I like putting these in our coat closets more than in the car I think they tend to linger a little bit more in the coat closet I don't know why um but I feel like they just tend to linger a little bit more and it's always nice because sometimes it can get a little musty down there in our coat closets because two of them also kind of have like crawl space behind or like extra storage space and I just feel like it can smell a little weird because it's kind of like an unfinished crawl space so I like just dangling these in the closets. Um, and then the last Scentsy item, this is like a very dried up uh, fragrance flower and I want to say this one I'm pretty sure it's Amazon Rain. I should start writing them like the date I open these and the scent that they are. I should start writing those again on these. Um, but yeah, totally used up. And I remember I put this in our bathroom pretty much. I think I filled up all the scent circles, sorry, the fragrance flowers in our bathrooms when we moved in. So they definitely last a long time. Sometimes you get to like, the bottom kind of fourth of it and they just feel like they like are never ending and the, they don't really like finish up but every once in a while I'll get one that like really dries up like this one so I liked this one I liked it a lot I would consider repurchasing that then I have a um perfume empty this is pink sugar aqualina pink sugar I can find these a lot of the times at like Marshall's and they're really affordable if you can find them at Marshall's. This is a one fluid ounce bottle and I actually had gotten two, two one fluid ounce bottles. So I have another full one and I want to say it was like $9.99 or $12.99 or something very affordable, but I love it. I was honestly curious to know what it smelled like compared to the vendor wax dupes and a lot of vendor wax dupes are pretty spot on. I love it. This is a really nice fragrance. Very sweet, but right up my alley. Um, and then a couple Bath and Body Works. This is Butterfly Shower Gel. I thought it was really pretty. When I first started using it, I kind of thought it was a bit almost like on the powdery side. And it's probably because of the floral in here, the iris petals. But then I kind of got used to it. And I, I did really enjoy this. I thought this was a really pretty scent and then just two hand soaps the first one is gingham fresh that i think we had in our kitchen and then the next one and last item of this video is turquoise waters and i think this was in our guest bathroom i just like to do these kind of fresher clean scents in the bathroom and kitchen and then I'll do more like bakery fun scents in like our bathrooms upstairs because I just don't know if everyone would like them. Um, but I do. So, um, so yeah, that was everything from my August wax melt empties and non em not non empties, non wax empties. Um, and yeah, coming in September, I'll start doing more like fall themed melting baskets and um, I guess my wax melt empties as well more on I'm going to try to do it on a weekly basis so we'll see how that goes throughout September and then if I want to continue on in like October and no November kind of doing the same sort of theme but yeah thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye